leader of leaders. The question is, how do you become one? I want you to imagine this in a stadium, many, many athletes hanging around together, having a party, having a gathering, everybody's high firing, cheering, joking around. And because they're at the same level, everybody's the same level. Nobody's better than anybody, maybe a little bit better than somebody, but it's not a lot better. And all of a sudden, Tom Brady walked into the arena. The entire arena become quiet. Why is that? It's because Tom Brady it is the GOAT of the GOAT. He is above the rest of everybody. Same goes with Michael Jordan. When he walks into the stadium, the rest of the basketball players show a lot of respect and they look at him and they become quiet, quiet and they just all of a sudden become silent. In the world of business, it goes the same way. But very few people can get to the top 1% and others call them leader of leaders. And leader of leaders has total influence over their people. Leader of leaders gain total trust from their people. Leader of leaders has total moral authority over their people because their people trust them so much, whatever they say, they automatically react and follow their advice, command, and challenge. So what is the difference between a leader versus a leader of leaders? Here are the differences. One has acting confidence. The other has real confidence. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. So here's acting confidence. Acting confidence comes from what? Outside. Surface. Superficial. Meaning, you can wear a very expensive suit and you dress up well, very fitted. It makes you feel yourself as confident. But it's outside. You are acting, right? Um, maybe your tonality. You know that if you talk a little bit louder, people would draw to your tone of voice Closer, that is having the right tonality. Maybe the way you look at people. Maybe inside you're insecure, but you're walking like you're very confident. A lot of people that I met, inside they're not confident at all, but outside they act very confident, right? And they can get by because people don't know how to read them. Uh, they, they can get by, but the, but the pro, the people who's been in life, in business for a long period of time, they can easily read those people that they're outside, they're very confident, but inside they're not really confident. Acting confidence also comes from positive reinforcement, meaning people just tell you how amazing you are, how good you are, they compliment you. Maybe your father, your mother say how amazing you are. Maybe your spouse say that you are a great, great person and all that great stuff that give you confidence. Now, although those are part of being confident, but those are still not real confident. Now, the leader of leaders, they don't just have acting confidence. They have real confidence within. So that's what I want to talk about today is how do they have real confidence? How do they walk into the room, you know, when people look at them, they all of a sudden, the whole entire room become quiet. They don't even need to dress up very sharp. They don't even need to act anything. They, you can feel their confidence is coming within their heart and blow it all out. How is that happening? Well, real confidence comes from what you say many, many times, many, many weeks, many, many months, many, many years, a decade, a decade and a half. Everything that comes out from their mouth, they equate to what they actually do, meaning they have alignment in their life. They have alignment in their business. They have alignment in everything they do. By the way, real confidence is not a public showing. It's more of a private living. If you know what, what I'm trying to say here. There are a lot of people on stage, they say one thing. In publicly, they say one thing. But privately, they totally disalign with what they believe. And they will never have real confidence. And leader of leaders, which is very few percentage, not a lot of people, they develop a habit, a behavior, where their belief system, their core value equate to their action. Not just publicly, but also privately. When they say something, it's what they actually do. If they don't say something, they don't say something, right? But if they say something, they actually are doing it, right? It's like this. 
if you say, I am going to save a lot of money, but then behind the door, privately, you don't save any money, but you're preaching that you need to save money to everybody. Now you have this alignment of your philosophy and you're going to not like yourself very much, right? If you tell people, you know what? You got to do everything the right way. No shortcut. Uh, no, don't do anything out of compliance. Don't do anything that's violating the laws. But behind the door, you secretly doing all those kind of things and violating laws and compliance. You're not going to like yourself. You're not going to have real confidence. That confidence is just all superficial outside. If you're telling somebody that, you know what? You got to eat healthy because in order for you to run a successful company, you got to have energy. You got to be healthy. You got to eat healthy. But then you don't eat healthy yourself and yourself don't exercise. Again, you are not aligning with what you actually believe in. So what is my message today? My message today is very simple. If you live your life, business, in every aspect of your life, and you have total alignment of what you preach and actually what you do, and for a long period of time, consistently, persistently, religiously, privately, all right, without anybody seeing you, and you do it such a way, guess what? you're gonna eventually develop something called influence, massive influence. And when you develop massive influence, your people that you're leading, the people around you, they will start to trust you. I have worked with many people and many people have always asked me, how come my guys don't listen to me? How come my guys that I'm leading, they're not reacting to me? How come the advice I'm giving to them, they don't take it seriously? That's because you don't have real influence. And the real influence comes what? Real confidence, right? So to develop influence, to have massive influence, you as a leader, you as a person, you as a parent, you as whoever, your job and your goal is to keep your words. Your behavior has to match to your belief system. And if you're able to do that, Again, not just publicly to show other people you're doing it, but privately in your life, that's what you live by. Then one day, you're gonna have so much influence over the people that you're leading because at the end, they trust you. They trust you. That's the big dif difference between somebody trusts you than somebody just like you, right? Somebody doesn't have to like you, but they still trust you, all right? There are a lot of people who like you, but they don't trust you. So to become leaders of leaders, you gotta live your life and business with total alignment. And you gotta do it for a long time. It's not a one day thing, one year thing, or three year thing. Because people are watching you. People that you're working with, people you're leading, people that's hanging around with you, they're watching you. What you say, is it really what you do? And if you can show massive result on top of all that, one day you might be able to become a leader of leaders. Again, if you guys love my value, love my content, and all these videos I'm doing for you, and if you believe anyone who can benefit out of all these videos I'm producing weekly, please share the video and post a comment uh, below and let me know your thoughts. And please click the link below and subscribe to the YouTube channel I recently launched. Thank you very much. Love you guys and take care. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.